Hi, this is Darren Southern from Productive Computing and the Productive Computing University. We'd like to bring you an update on the continuing evolution of the Claris Connect platform. The release of the custom connectors represents the latest groundbreaking innovation from Claris, signaling a significant leap forward in the realm of workflow automation and integration. These custom connectors empower businesses to tailor their API integration solutions precisely to their unique needs and requirements, fostering unparalleled flexible and efficiency. Although Claris is releasing new connectors regularly, there are just too many APIs out on the internet with a huge range of diverse functions and features, which you can now add to your custom flows. This custom connector has been built to make calls to the Weatherbit API. Weatherbit is a free online service that provides current historical or weather forecasts for any city around the globe from over 47,000 live weather stations. Here's the bullet points for components for this presentation. This is a combination of setup screens, configurations, and online documentation. Claris Connect is a perfect platform to stitch together your functions into a full feature workflow. If you've not already signed up for your free Claris ID yet, now is the perfect time. Once you have your Claris ID, you can now choose your Claris Connect plan. We can begin with the free tier, get started, and decide to upgrade to a paid account in the future only if we really need to. You're going to need an account over at Weatherbit also. And again, the free account will give us all that we need to get started. I'd recommend familiarizing yourself with the supply documentation for any API. Please note at the bottom of this web page, we have an example request. This request can be called from any source, even your web browser. Later in the presentation, I'll show you how to make this call from within Claris FileMaker via the insert from URL script step and our new Claris Connect Custom Connect flow. For those of us who are already familiar with Claris Connect, there's a new menu item called Custom Connectors. Claris supplies a number of templates for building your very own custom connector. I'd suggest ensuring that your target API requires the same authentication method if you decide to select any particular configuration template. Each of these different supplied templates has a slightly different authentication configuration and also various fields for your API request. As you can see with this open AI configuration template, this API requires an API key and a token to be returned, not unlike the method used by the FileMaker Data API. Here's a configuration built by Chris Turner here at Productive Computing. In this case, the API key is included in each of the API request calls, which is a common method with a number of APIs. In the second half of the configuration, you can see the request fields along with the configuration for testing the API call. Claris supplies along with the custom connector configuration tool is the option for error checking. This is a great aid to ensure that your JSON syntax is correct. Very much like the built-in error checking for the calculation engine we have within Claris FileMaker. It's worth noting that currently custom connectors only supply actions, not triggers. That's fine for now. We can wrap our connector inside the supplied HTTP request and the reply with JSON data function. Our webhook includes returning sync response and we can define what data to return. As part of this configuration, we're going to select just three of the data fields. The custom connector gives us a visual method to select the JSON key for the data. Now we're going to switch over to Claris FileMaker and have a look at a quick comparison between the API call via the insert from URL script step and from our newly built custom connector. Here comes the fun part. To begin with, we're going to start with calling the API within Claris FileMaker via the insert from URL script step. With our call data complete, with the three parts of the data from our key, URL and city, we can return the result from the API in one script step. 
you will notice that the response returns a raft of data beyond the three fields of data that we we're focusing on. I've included a link to the website JSON Pathfinder, which allows you to drill down into complicated JSON and return the element you, we require, which is displayed on the right. We do have the option to run the FileMaker function JSON format elements on the data to pretty up the result, although the path to the app temp data is still the same. Now it's time to run the Claris Connect flow, and all we need to do is to send the webhook URL, the city, and that's all that's required. The API key has been already stored securely in the flow. Performing the trigger Claris Connect flow script step to call the URL and deliver the JSON for the city request. This time, we just receive the three data points we defined in the flow, and we have a much simpler JSON get element function to extract the app temp field. Claris has begun to publish a number of excellent online blogs and documentation for Claris Connect. There's also a help document breaking down each of the options for the custom connector schema and an example or two. Now that you've got the basic idea of how Claris Connect can be connected to the Weatherbit API, point your browser over to the Productive Computing University for the sample file. Here at the university, you can browse our range of courses or search for a particular course by course name. There are two courses worth mentioning at this point. The first is a Claris Connect Fundamentals course, which has been designed for FileMaker developers to equip you with the essential tools needed to seamlessly integrate FileMaker with external third-party apps. The second is the API Fundamentals course, which focuses on the general API process and specifically teaches you to connect to a hosted FileMaker database through the FileMaker Data API. Productive computing can also be hired for custom development and consultation or FileMaker application API integration. Another service offered by Productive Computing is coaching, where one of our senior developers can spend the time to teach you a particular technology or technique. We also have a maintenance support program available, which can also be found at our website. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me to discuss this new exciting release from Claris. For more Claris related videos, I invite you to subscribe here to our YouTube channel. And of course, go to ProductiveComputing.com for more information.